Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Adventures in the Tower of Flight. We are in this cathedral area still. These weird, balding demon head type things. Oh, that is floor, okay. Should have known that by the slug thing walking on the ground there. I can't attack him normally. It's gonna take a lot of hits though. Eh, maybe not as many as I thought it would. Oh, there's a shop. I don't have enough for an extra life. Almost though. I just backtracked for some of these coins here I would be able to. There we go. So I replaced that life I lost foolishly trying to go through that hidden area. Oop. Alright, where are we headed? Still in Cathedral Land. Oh, another health upgrade, nice. So it seems like there's some health upgrades that are planned, like they're forced. You're basically not going to be able to miss them. There's some that are hidden away. So we're starting our second bar life there. Number nine. These guys don't actually do half a hard damage. That's kind of surprising. Hidden passage there. Well, this looks very familiar. Like I've been through here before. So this should, this, this is gonna take me to the locked door area. Yeah, we've definitely been through here before. Try and remember where this takes me out. Yeah, so we still need to get that key. Must be the other door instead of the hidden door here. So I guess that actually was. I had actually forgot I had gone through that door, so that actually was a hidden um, life power up. Not sure if I want to go through this door right away. I think I want to go up here first and see what's up here. In case the key is up here. Actually, wow, I just actually taking a staggering amount of damage. Just noticed that. Those guys do a lot more damage than I thought. They may do one and a half hearts, not half a heart. No key up here, though. And no health. Uh, so that's a little scary. I actually have the key. Uh, I didn't realize that. I don't even remember where I picked that up now. That was very silly of me. Do the save points heal you? No. So that's dangerous. Probably gonna avoid a lot of combat coming through here then because I really don't want to lose another life. There we go. There's one heart at least. Could buy a health refill, but I don't really think it's worth it. I just play a little cautiously. I'm sure I'll find enough health eventually. All right, this will take me back through that other area and then we'll loop around, we'll have the key. Right, and this will go to the health upgrade again. So I guess this is a kind of a necessary route. I think there was a health upgrade in here too. Oh no, it was just a coin. We got the blob in this hallway. Yep. Oh nice, there's a heart. Someone said full health. One short. Two short actually.
Now I can just go here. That was very silly before. Alright, down we are. Now where are we going? Oh, so we're on the other side of that uh, tower now. That's where I came through before. Took care of him without too much trouble. Somebody's gonna slide off the floor there. Oh. Yeah, I was forgetting I can't actually attack down while you're floating. Well, this is ominous looking, so we got a save point and a shop here. We don't really need anything from the shop, we've already gotten that. Oh my god, what the hell are you? That is just weird looking. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this thing. He does a staggering amount of damage though. That is crazy. So there goes one of our uh, health refills there. Gotta be a little more careful. Seems I can only attack him by dashing though, because otherwise I touch him. This is uh, very, very tough. The problem is I can't really get two dashes in. There goes another revive potion. Hmm. Maybe I can get two in. And loop back around here just to charge up. Yeah, that way I can just fall instead of having to fly up to him. So I can get two dashes in before I'm out. Man, it's a good thing I bought those revive potions, though. We'd be in serious trouble here. Oh, jeez. Got him. Nice. Woo! That's a weird-looking boss. And we got the purple key. Ooh. And what are you? You get the Sword of Much Power. Your attacks are now twice as strong, and we can charge up a powerful swing. And topple enemies with shields. Nice. And it does give me, like, an increased range, too, on that. Charge Slash. Good stuff. Just some more of those adventures. Hey, these little armor guys blow- Oh, okay, so we can kill these guys now. Oh, and it literally topples them, it turns them over. Good to know. Heading further on up the tower. Whoa. Who puts lava at the top of a tower, really, now? Unless the tower is actually a volcano. But even that, it wouldn't be just at the top. So you can actually accidentally knock them back, uh, back over. So you gotta be careful about that. So now we're in an ice place. And what's cool is the music actually changed for a more ice theme, I guess, when we came in here. That's pretty neat. Dig that. I wonder if it's gonna switch back now. Yeah, that's cool. It's got like two different layers, basically. Depending on which area you're in. Yeah, once they're flipped over, we can kill them any way we want. Probably going back to Iceland? Yeah. Oh, this is, I kind of dig this. I mean, you usually see like an ice world and a fire world in these games, but switching back and forth so rapidly is kind of a nice touch. 
Must be one of these walls is breakable here. There we go. Very surprised I haven't gotten hit by these fireballs yet. Oh, they are just uh, destroyable. Wow, one hit kills those guys. That's crazy. That's actually a lot of damage. Uh, oh, that's definitely took me backwards. Well, that's not good. That's not where I wanted to go at all. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Um. Now what? Cause now I'm gonna end up going pretty far. Oh no, this definitely took me in a totally different place. That was unexpected. Oh, there's a save point too, nice. That is a big help right now. At least now I know I'm kind of going the right way. Our red blocks. Door we can't get into, I don't think. No. Exit only. Blue and red blocks. Can kind of go off the side of the screen a little bit there. Can't get into that. What's this jewel here? I bet these switch the blocks. Yeah. Oh, green is all of the Moran. Red is only some of the Moran. Um, do I want to go red and go all the way up? That's weird. I would need some sort of. Yeah, I'm gonna try something. No. How would I? Maybe I get some sort of projectile? Well, we'll go blue for now. Well, that'll let me come in here. Actually, you know what? No, I can't go in there. That's probably where I come out. So I'll have to go in blue for now. And there's another gem. I need this one to be red. It doesn't seem like they're universal either, because otherwise blue would have been closed. Or open, rather. So this has got to be green, I guess? Well, it's strange that there's a red block there. Very strange, actually. Now we get some underwater time now. I bet that water's a little chilly. Nice thing is I don't think the charge slash takes up any of your uh, special meter either. It's kind of a way to do more powerful attacks. Oh, gee, that's a red one. You gotta take more than one charge hit too. Two hits actually. Wonder if there's more. Oh, he splits into pieces too. Wonder if there's more powerful of the blob type enemy too. Uh, do I really want to go down here? Not particularly, but I will. All right, we're back out here now. Um, seems kind of like a trap to come down here, but. It's a single coin. Fireball does a lot of damage. Don't have enough. I do have enough coins for another revive potion. I should actually definitely do that. I definitely want to break that. Well, there's a door there, but 
What is up this way? Oh, a health potion. Or a uh, health upgrade. I actually have enough jump to get there. Just barely. wonder if I'll actually find all these by the time the game is done. Or if I've already missed some. Alright, we have this angry face here. Oh, jeez, didn't even see that. There we go. Gotta loop around here at- oh, jeez, another red one. Gotta loop around here at some point to that, uh... Find a way to get through that other switch. Question is when and where. You charge up this uh, this slash really quickly too, which is kind of nice. You can kind of rapid fire him if you need to. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. I mean, this is gonna be a hell of a loop to come out. Oh, okay. Well, now we're going back through this way. It always weirds me out why it just does this, like, arbitrary backtracking. Oh, here we go. Here's a bow. Nice. Long shot. Bow of much reach. Alright, so we can switch uh, weapons now. And we can still charge up. Why would I ever want the sword again? If I can still do my charge slash, hell. Stick with this forever. Seems pretty good to me. It looks like it might pierce enemies too, which is incredible. Yeah, it does. That's awesome. It does seem like it might be maybe slightly weaker than the sword, but the piercing aspect is amazing. And it actually knocks the arrows out of the air too, that's incredible. Yeah, it doesn't kill those uh, fires in one shot, so it is slightly weaker than the sword, but I, I think the benefits far outweigh the uh, downsides here. Oh, and you also can't attack down, but that doesn't really matter because um, I can always just use the dash to hit things below me. Uh, I guess I can hit this. Can't go through here, though. At least I don't think I can. Those guys are still a little scary. Uh, I need to hit the blue switch, that's unfortunate. There we go. Hopefully it's got- ah. I gotta say, hopefully he's not back, but... Yeah, he does a lot of damage. There we go, finally a door. Definitely use some hearts, though. I'm starting to feel the squeeze on my health here. Oh, here we go. Next area. Nice. Getting up into the clouds now. Well, we'll probably stop there for now. Actually, it looks like we might have a town here. And we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. It helps a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.